guys, um, it's me, and today, um, this is my mom's bedroom, this is my dad's bedroom. Um, the reason why I'm in here is because I am playing the Wii. I am playing Wii Fit, and, um, Wii Fit, people say that Wii Fit is totally rubbish, you can't lose weight, you can't put on weight. And people say it's lots of rubbish, so I tried it out. Um, I tried it out since Thursday, um, today is Saturday so I've been doing it every day now and I weighed myself and um, and I was doing a body test and my hair is all ready but um, I'm not sure if you can see but um, I tried it out, I was, I'll say it said that I had a healthy weight and I was like oh my god right okay and it said um, my BMI says I'm 22.69 that was on Thursday but when I tied up my weight today it said 22.19 I was like oh my god I lost I had about 50 ibs or whatever you call it and I was totally shocked because last time it didn't help for me I did it every day for the week and it didn't help and that totally shocked me because I wanted to lose weight for going to Florida and so I'm not sure if you can see, sorry, but sorry if you can't really see, but I was trying to be a mother. Like that that was that was on Thursday. That was my last result. This is today's result. So I'm quite happy. People say or it's not helpful, but it is. No way. No way. No way. Hang on. Wait, hang on. It says that I lost that. Holy cow. Um, that is my weight. That, that can't be my weight. Because I touched on the scales so and it's a lot more than that I can tell you that much. Oh my god. You're kidding me. I'm sick. I'm... I'm six, I'm nearly, I'm 65 kilos, or kg, whatever you call it, and I did, that totally shocked me, like, so you lost, I was like, I was like, yes, <laughs> like, I'm, it said, um, I stored in two weeks, and and it says and that's my goal that's my goal that's my goal to lose one stone and five in to use your girl there I need to reach there please I want to reach there um so yes in a single where it says in a single day your weight is said to change by about two point over two point two ips due to tiny changes taking place in your body. What? Um, if you want to accurately monitor your weight, it's best if you take the body test at the same time of the day. Today is twenty. It's twenty past two. If you're in a bit of a hurry, you can end your body test here. Do you want to do so? Nope. And finally, let's measure your athletic ability. Oh, great. You've been given two balance tests that I've chosen specifically for you. Oh, great. So, uh, I'm a wee balance board. <laughs> um, it says that to go. Oh, great. Oh. So that's what I had to basically do. But I'm not in my comfortable position though. Sorry if you can't really see.
My brother totally sucked at that. <laughs> he was like, Sophie, what do I do? What do I do? Oh god, it's faster. Mine was 26 previous. What? What? I was faster the last time. God damn it. My total score was 26 seconds. Last time it was 24, so I was quicker the last time. Shift your center of gravity to the front, back, and left, and right as you try to hit the... Oh, I haven't done this before. My hair is a mess. So, what do I do? Oh, I've done this before. Come on. Come on. It gets harder by adding more squares. Come on. No. No. Come on, man. Last time, last time I did, last time I did it because I was in a hurry. Was yeah, it's not. Oh, great! You're wee fitting. Last time I got four feet, it was spot on. This time it's eighteen. Eighteen. What? I used to test this girl that you were actual age to calculate your wee fit age. Oh, great. That's the difference of over four years. That would mean that your body is a bit weaker than it should be. That's not. I can run. Now let's make your stab. My stabby. 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 And then that is also on top of the six. Oops. Your stab total has reached two, so yeah, I'll give you a new stab to use. You can change your stab design by clicking and use. Oh, cool! You can. You can. Um. You can pause it if you're not quicker. So I. So guys, today I was met on uh, Wednesday, went about, oh great, now there is up for men. There we are. Um, on Wednesday, last time, I was meant to do a panel on Wednesday, but I wasn't even bothered because I was too scared. The reason why I was scared is because um, on the news there was, um, they were thinking of this asteroid out of space. Um, an asteroid was meant to hit Earth, apparently. We're still alive and we haven't hit it. The asteroid hasn't hit us. The asteroid comes um, comes to Earth, passes or comes to Earth every year because apparently people from China are thinking that the 23rd or the 25th of September each year thinking that Earth is going to end. Apparently, this is the 26th of September. It was meant to be dead yesterday. Unfortunately, we're still alive. How long are you left? And last night, I couldn't get any sleep, is bec um, sleep because um, there were fireworks going off. And my sister was saying, um, why is there fireworks in September? And uh, my mom and I said, because we're not dead. That's why we're celebrating, because we're not dead. So, yeah, so yeah, um, today we're doing, um, I'm doing a Paranormal Wednesday video, um, I had to do two episodes, uh, um, two episodes because, um, um, I haven't done one last week, I haven't done this one this week, so I'm going to do episode, I forgot what episode it is, I think it's episode... 11 and 12 already I've been I've been doing this for 12 weeks holy cow um so yeah I'm just gonna check which episodes I think I've done episode 10 
which is the Tower of London. Yes, I have. Um, episode eleven. If it's an ep if it's episode eleven, episode eleven is going to be Pophelia Island, and episode twelve. I have no clue what episode twelve will be, but I will. And I will let you know when it comes to when it comes to the twelfth one. So don't look at my hair, please. That's weird. Um. So um, <clears throat> my arms are sore after exercising. Jesus. And um. No, it's episode ten and eleven we're doing. Last time it was episode 9, so we're doing episode 10 of 11 today. So, I don't know what, what episode 11 is going to be. But the episode 10 is going to be um, in the dark. This video, the episode, the, net, the video that's coming um, in a couple of moments will be that um will be that video will be that video that I've done um on Tuesday this week sorry there I go and um I've done it at night time because it's easier for me to do one video on a that on a different day and then a video today. So the video that's about to come up I think is um is um the video that is about Pamphylia Island and I hope uh, you enjoyed it. Hey guys, my name is Sophie. Um, today um, it's been a crazy day for me. Um, the light is blinding me. That's what the blue light is and blinding me. Um, it's been a really dark day. Um, I just don't feel like um, I should be recording but I have to because I missed a paranormal Wednesday video, which I'm about to do. Um, so um, today I'll be talking to you guys um, about Pavilion Island. I don't. I honestly don't care if I. I don't care if um, if I mention to that haunted location to you before or not. Because I have a feeling that I've made a video about Pavilion Island. But I don't know. I'm just going to do it anyway. So it's like dark and the PC light that is blinding me it is not great. Because the light in my bedroom is not working because of my camera effect. And... I've recently got a cold. Um, my voice is literally dying, and that's why I can't really talk that much. Um, so um, I was off school. I'm going back tomorrow. Um, so I'm just gonna make this episode real quick. I know this camera angle is not great, um, but. I just feel like, wait, can I just put a little bit down? I had to do this real quick because my phone needs charging now. There, yeah, there you go. Right, um, so yeah, um, we're just going to do a video today. Um, Pavilion Island is in Venice in Italy. Sorry if you can't really hear me because of my voice. Um, <coughs> Just now my voice is really, really not needed to speak for too long. So I'm just going to make it quick. Um, so Pavilion Island is in Venice in Italy. Um, it's in a little town called Pavilia. Um, It used to be a town for, um, not exactly, but a town... People call the town the island of death or hell or stuff like that. That's what people in Venice say. So, um, 
Pavilion, Pavilion Island, um, it was first known in 4, 421 AD, I don't know, I don't know if it's AD or BC, but um, Pavilion Island was definitely recognised in um, Roman times around about 421 of the year. Um, in the 14th century, the island was again abandoned. It was abandoned many times because they don't know what to do with it. Um, they honestly don't know what to do with it. Um, there was um, there was a disease on the island by men, women, and children. We don't. We there's no documented research of what um, kind of disease it is. You can look it up online. But I use I use the professional I use the the professional in a way, but it's secret, it's secret. Sorry, sorry I can't tell you. Sorry. Um, Pavilion Island was dead for uh, what? I haven't done I haven't done I haven't written um facts about Pavilion Island for a long time. So these are just rough copies of. Facts. Okay. Pavilion Island was death for people death for um people who was sentenced to death and they and um was in court and they were sentenced to death and they had to go to Pavilion to be there for um for the rest of their lives till they die. So basically so basically, um the judge um told the person to um they were sentenced to death for that person. Um, instead of locking them up in cells till they get the death sentence, till they get executed or decapitated or hung or whatever they do these days, um, or electrocuted, they go to Pavilion Island and they get um, they get these in these boats. And they go to Pavilion, and there's a doctor that wears a doctor mask. I can't really tell you what it looks like, but it looks like a bird's a bird's. It looks like a bird's beak, but it's like a mask with a bird's beak. And then underneath the beak of the mask, you had to put um, herbs or leaves or grass underneath. Uh, I don't know why, but it's part of the doctor's mask. Um, I don't know why the doctor drives them to Pavilion just to get just to get killed. I don't know why, but um, yeah, they just go on this boat with the doctor with a couple of guards, and they go to Pavilion, and they go to this building. And they wait for a couple of minutes or even hours, depends on how many people we sentence to death. Um, they wait, um, they get the sign to get ready. Um, they basically kill them. They basically so they basically kill some people with the swords. Um, they basically kill people by drowning them in the lake. Um, Hun. And and be possibly de um, decapitated. So um, my computer went off in Erica. Um, um, the island was being cursed since 1630. I don't know how or why it was cursed. And in 1630, I don't know how it was cursed because. It was possibly of so many deaths from the 14th century to 1630, or even before that, of so many deaths and people was again haunted and they've been cursed and they can make people cursed. Um, in the 1930s, doc <clears throat> I'm sorry. In the 1930s, doctors performed strange, strange experiments to the patients at Pavilla Island. So the basic, the doctors, um, they're basically. So I'll just, I'll just make this crystal clear, just in case you get confused with doctors and stuff like that. 
So basically, um, sometime there's another building for nurses and doctors, and there's another there was another building for hospital, um, where people come from the war or they just being attacked or being really badly injured or something like that. They come to the Piffley Island Hospital, which is the safe which is the safest um, building around the island. So they go to the hospital in Pephelia on the island and doctors wants to try some new experiments that not even a, a, another doctor across the world knows. So they basically, I don't know what kind of experiments, experiments were doing but they were experiments on patients and uh, on in and on inmates to try an experiment and they can possibly kill they can possibly make them dead when they're finished so I don't know what kind of ones probably there were something to do with their private life or something I don't know um the doctor went mad there's there was wait I know I've been a little bit not sense but I'm trying to. So there was a doctor that went mad for some reason, we have no clue why, and he threw himself from the asylum, asylum, the hospital wall. So the bait, wait, hold on. Okay, I know. So a doctor went mad and he threw himself and he threw himself from the asylum's tall bell tower. So basically, um, he basically jumped off. So he basically jumped off, um, the hosp the hospital um bell tower. Um, I don't know. To me, since he went mad, possibly he was possessed by a demonic entity that was from from the 14th century or a long way way ago when Pavilion Island was cursed um so he possibly was possessed by an entity or an evil entity that went mad and want to kill people or he just wants to do it by himself because he can't he knows about the hauntings and he can't control it um, I don't know. That takes a lot of energy and power to do that because if if that was you, jumping or throwing yourself out of the bell tower, there that will totally make your think life be like ended and really badly. And I have no clue what I'm saying. So, so like that. In 1975, the last center to close up was um. Oh God, I can't I can't pronounce this. That's weird. Why is that flickering? Sorry. Um, in 1975, the last center to close up was generatic generatic. Oh God, sorry. Generatic. Generate, generatic, generatic center, and today the whole island has been abandoned again. So, so basically, the doctors and nurses, um, the people that were brought to Pavilion to be killed, knew that the island was haunted, but the public didn't know because they because. If um, doctors and nurses and people and inmates that were about to be executed on Pavilion Island um, was not allowed to tell the public about Pavilion Island being haunted for over 10,000 years. I don't know, I just made that up. Um, because if they did tell the public, they said a sentence from this... Um, 
they did a Ouija board se session way, way ago, and they said if they tell the public, if they tell the public, the public, they'll get executed, and that, and there was an evil spirit, I think, that said that, and, um, and the evil spirit thinks that is a good idea to tell them that, to tell the public that, because they love executing people, and so, yeah, um, yeah, that's, Today's um, haunted location. I'm back again. Um, I made up my choice what um, I what, what haunted location I'm gonna do. So I'm since I talked about Pavilion Island, I think yeah. Since I talked about Pavilion Island in the last one, um, I'm now talking about Leth Leaf Hall. I'm going to do this really quickly it, um, because when I was trying to email this video to the computer it wasn't going to send it because it, the video was too long. Um, so I had to upload on YouTube, make it private and I had to download it to my computer and then edit it so I had to do it a little bit quick than I usually do. So Leith Hall, um, Leith Hall was built by the Leith family. Family, sorry if I can't, sorry if you can't really hear me because I've got a sore throat and a, and a cold. <coughs> sorry, I'll start again. Leith Hall was built by the Leith family in 1650, and the Leith family remained until 1945. So basically, um, the Leith family was building it, building it, and um. The Leith family's timeline was from 1650 all the way to 1945, which is really good, which is really quite a history. And there were extensions added to the hall in 1738, 1810, and 1904, like making the hall bigger every every 100 years or and so like that. Um, during the First World War, Leith Hall became a third Perry hospital. It housed over 500 patients who returned injured and wounded from fighting in Belgium. Like, um, First World War was the was the biggest war in the history because World War World War One was was <coughs> was um, the deadliest daddy list um war ever so there was also lots of patients who died and possibly haunting the hall that they didn't know it was a house before it returned before it was a hospital excuse me <coughs> <coughs> sorry <coughs> that's how that's how i kill my throat and the house may be converted into flats and people um, the estate agents um, think that the house might might be able to be into flats because since it's so big, it can't be a house because it's it's too big to be a house for a small family, and that's why they convert it into flats. I think they're doing that to the couple of years turn or in the future. I don't know if they're started or not, but hope not. Um, Leith Hall is po probably the most haunted building in Aberdeenshire. So typically, Leith Hall is in Huntley, um, Aberdeenshire. Basically, Alan here is in a is in Aberdeenshire. I live in Aberdeenshire. Huntley Huntley is one uh, one and a half hour away from here where I live. It I've been to Huntley and Huntley is probably my most I did not know that Huntley was the most, um, that they had haunted building, so, yeah. So if you can't really see my face, and because it's so dark, um, um, the figure of a moaning large, oh, great, why did I put this down? The figure of a moaning large man, don't, don't even think, uh, with a dirty white bandage over his head and covering his eyes. So they saw a figure that uh, was moaning in pain. He was quite tall. He was quite, <clears throat> he was quite tall, and he has a dirty white um, bandage over his head, and he's covering his eyes. 
that he does not want to see you. Um, a ghost who was a ghost. I'm <coughs> sorry. A ghost who was killed on Christmas Day in seven, in seventeen sixty three during a drunken trial in which he was shot in the head. <coughs> so a so a man was killed on Christmas Day. Um, he was drunk. <coughs> he was drunk and he he had no. He couldn't control himself, and he couldn't control himself, and someone else, and he was like, the guy that was drunk, uh, that was killed on Christmas Day was like, t talking politics and stuff to other people there, and one man, he wasn't drunk, this man was not drunk, the man shot him, the drunk man in the head because, to stop him from annoying. And <clears throat> that was in seventeen sixty three, and the most popular day that they've seen his ghost was um, Christmas Day, Boxing Day, and Christmas Eve. So if you want to see his ghost, the only time he's going to show up is Christmas Day, Boxing Day, and Christmas Eve. Depends. Depends on days between between Christmas and Boxing Day and stuff. I'm <clears throat> sorry. And um, his spirit, his spirit is probably not drunk, and he was probably wondering why he was shot and how. He had no memory of it. Oh well, yeah, that was Lisa Paul. If you enjoyed it, if you enjoyed a double um a double episode. Um, of Paranormal Wednesdays. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below um, if you enjoyed it to let me know if you enjoyed it or not. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. I don't care if you put down negative or positive comments. I don't mind. Oh, a lot. Well, I <clears throat> well. Hope not. It's not like racist or some comments like that. Um, share this video, um, subscribe to me for videos every Wednesday and Saturday, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!